Good morning, Cyber Traders. Happy Friday, everybody. How's everybody doing? Good to see you, Michael. All right. Ken, Andrea, good to see you. Grant, everyone, welcome back. This is a very special day. It's the last day my uh, my wife's going to deal with the kids. They go back to school. <laughs> Two weeks is a long time. But anyway, uh, let's get right to the action. We all know what's going on. Uh, I guess everyone heard about the uh, big news uh, last night. They uh, took out uh, an Iranian uh, general. And, you know, the big thing that you have to understand when it comes to trading is um, when I was telling you guys a little bit about what could ever move the market, it's, you know, un unfortunately, catastrophes do make opportunities. So, I mean, no matter how you look at it, politically, whatever it is, it's not – it, the way you have to look at it is that if anything happens – that is is huge news. The first thing you react is you go right to the stock market. You're like, okay, how's the stock market reacting? Whatever it is. And what's the big thing that's been affecting the stock market? Um, oil, right? So there was a couple of stocks, energy stocks, um, ETFs. They're all moving right now. Now, overall, there's not that many stocks that are moving that great. I mean, there was a CEI that we're looking at right now. It's a stock that I bought you know, right this morning at 8 o'clock this morning. And you could see where it jumped in. If you were here at 8 o'clock this morning, you got it at 240. A little disappointed. It went all the way to $3. It backed off at 260. I'm still holding on to it. But, um, but early bird gets the money. That's where it comes down to it. So let me just bring up a little bit more of a better looking chart. You could see right there when we logged in around 745, that's really where you had that nice little pop right there. But um, I'm keeping an eye on it. You know, like I said, I still have it. I'm holding on to it. Cheap little stock. Would be nice to stop back in July if it went from 100 to 600. <laughs> Keep dreaming, right, Fausto? <laughs> Unbelievable. It's so sad. It's incredible how these stocks get destroyed, and, they, and, they, and they're all the way down here, you know? But anyway, uh, a couple of stocks are moving. But before we do that, let's talk about what happened yesterday for some of you that did miss out. First of all, holy crap. What about what's going on with that AMD? You know, um, we, bought, we bought a bunch of new computers here at our office at Cyber Trade University for all our, our instructors and staff. And um, we, you know, obviously, you know, we buy, uh, we have a very good connection. And for all of you that are students, you get a promotion rate through Falcon Computers. And, um, you know, and, you know, we always change them, you know, for every few years. We try to get up with the times. And the reason why I'm bringing that up is not to give a little plug in for Falcon if you need a nice trading computer. But, He's, you know, the big thing is, do you want to use an AMD chip or an Intel chip? And he's like, oh, he's like, let me tell you, the AMD chip is great. It's blowing out of the waters. And I'm like, well, that makes sense because the stock is taking off. It looks like, you know, for them, for a computer company, it builds computers that are pushing people to buy the new AMD chip. And by the way, this has been going on for about a year now that they've been talking so highly about it. Just shows you how great the stock is doing. So anyway, that stock yesterday, let me just bring it up, was just... And it's not even just the day trade. Remember what I always told you. You want to be a good swing trader, you got to be a good day trader first. And we saw this coming. I mean, this thing back in October was at 28. We saw it going to 34, 38. You know, you got a little Fausto flag right here at 42. Look, it hit almost 49 all-time highs. So, listen, could the stock go higher? I mean, I don't know. Look at Apple. You know what I mean? Look, look at Intel, what it done. Look what Microsoft has done. You know, uh, a lot of high-tech stocks are obviously have been in really, really high demand. Another couple of nice little runs. Let's bring up a few other ones. Um, Rite Aid, that was a great little short squeeze. That stock is starting to reverse right there. You know, it was a good swing trade. Now it's becoming, you know, a good short. If you missed that big run, that one did pretty well. ENPH, that one was pretty awesome. That was just a nice, slow, steady stock. Look at that. 26 to 29, just a really, just a nice run over the day. PR trial, that one was actually the one, um, that was actually one that I made a lot of money on, on the TRIL. The only thing I didn't like about it, it did these nasty 10 cent shakes. But if you could see it, it constantly broke all time highs. Nice little cheap stock. Believe that, even, you know, it went down 10 cents, it went up 20 cents, went down 10 cents, went 20 cents. But you can see it maxed out about bucks. I must have sold about four or five times that stock. You know, I wish I still had my original position. But you know what? If I did, I'll be losing right now. That's the whole idea about being conservative when it comes to trading. Now, what's going on this morning? Uh, Michael says AMD built a five billion dollar plant up in uh, a lot of New York, Sar in Saratoga. Really, I love Saratoga. I go to Saratoga all the time. 
the horses. We actually, you know, we own horses too, actually. By the way, not a very good trade. <laughs> Don't ever own a horse. In Malta? Wow, that's unbelievable. That's a big-ass building. Holy crap. $5 billion AMD? Huh. Unbelievable. Anyway, I'll definitely check it out. I'm up there, you know, I'm up there several times. Not too far from my house, Saratoga. Beautiful area. By the way, if you guys ever go to Saratoga Racetrack, when it's open, it's only open for about a month and a half, I highly recommend you do a trip up there. Just the, the history and the experience. People still dress up that work there back in the 19th century. They kind of keep that in. They kind of keep that uh, concept. Beautiful, beautiful racetrack. It's always nice, to, nice, nice event. Now, regarding about what's moving this morning, listen. There are a couple of stocks. Obviously, we know about the CEI trade. Um, you start trying to come back a little bit. You know, I think it. I don't know. I kind of get this feeling it's going to make like that big pop that it does once the market opens up. So we'll see how that works out. But um, she started breaking down. Let me see. Let me just bring up the one-minute chart. So let's see if she breaks a higher high right here. But um, if everyone got in where they should have gone in, eh, you know, it looks like the 260 was still a pretty good deal. You know what I mean? If you did, you've got close to where uh, where we owned it earlier this morning. But that was a pretty nasty drop. I thought it was going to go up higher than that. But we'll see how – if she breaks this high, let's see what happens. I mean, right now is uh, pretty much the momentum time. EIMI, another one that's moving this morning. I thought that this stock was pretty good. A lot of you remember the stock in October. One of our typical 1,000% movers in one day. Yep, that's right. $2 to 12 You know what? She was up a little bit this morning. I don't know. Maybe I'm going to give it a scratch. Um, only thing that really sparked my interest is because we all remember we traded this stock. We made a lot of money on this stock. And um, I thought maybe it's doing it again. But I don't know. And now she looks like she's backing off. Yama. Remember Yama? Another one of our... Helped it wrong with a T. Oh. A U. Go. Yama's up a little bit nicely. Some of you remember this stock very well. Great short squeeze stock. They do it all the time. We traded it back in, you know, in uh, September. This thing went from $2 to 8 came back down, did it back in... Uh, late September, went from two back to seven. Keep an eye on YUMA. And by the way, everyone, go back to your journals and focus and make sure you took the good notes that you did on it if you were a student back then. Because remember, these stocks, you know, the whole idea is when you go through our classes, we teach you how they do the shakes. We teach you, you know, explain you how they do reverse psychology. We teach you how they, um, you know, how the market makers do these traps and these head fakes and the iceberg orders. So knowing how this stock trades, not only do we trade it once, we traded it one, two, three, four, five times. We even six, seven, eight. We traded several times the stock. So it's got to be in your daily journals. All right. WLL, another one that's up, gapping up a little bit this morning. So if you look at the name, petroleum, same thing. So listen, I can't name them all, right? But looks like all the petroleum stocks are moving, including some of the ETFs. And uh, keep an eye on the ACOR. Remember, that was another big pop. I don't know, after hours, this thing just took off from 2 to 270. Looks like she's backing off right now. She's up about 11%, but still trade 200,000 shares. So that's basically your, 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 your watch list right now that we got. Um, there was a stock right here that came up. That, but it's a penny stock, you know what I mean? And, and you know I'm not a fan of this, but it's up 65%, 24 million shares. It's not a petroleum stock, but, you know, I, I don't like to put these stocks on my watch list. I don't like to trade stocks because we don't really get the iceberg orders. We can't really see them over here and everything else. But, you know, for some of you that are a little bit more speculative, you know, and know how to play these type of things, you can go right ahead. But she is on, she is moving this morning. And uh, that pretty much does it. So listen, it is Friday, guys. It's it's the uh, some kids do go back to school. It's the slow time. You know, a lot of people are are, are going to be traveling, getting back. Some people going to go on vacation, finish out the year. You know, finish out their vacation time. Uh, I know we're going to come back really big and strong starting next week. And uh, you know, so there's a lot. Probably things are not going to probably pick up until then. So listen. If you do good, take your money. But listen, we know the market's going to be down. We know what just happened overnight with uh, taking out that general. We know how it's going to affect the oil prices and everything else. 
just remember, this is all speculation, right? Now, can it get worse? Well, listen, from what I'm listening on TV, looks like the Iranians might are going to come back. And if it does, they do something you know, like that. It's going to affect the market. So when it affects the market, those are the stocks that you're going to focus on. All right. Yeah. Gold, too. Like all those stocks, all those uh, those commodity stocks are all going to be moving, Grant. All right. All right, everybody. Just remember, listen, you know, look, listen and learn for all. If you're new here and if you're a professional, or you're one of the, you know, cyber group and, and one of the students here, cyber trading. If we see something that we that you missed in another stock, because remember. Your job. Is to is to trade a stock. Right. And if you missed any of them, your job is to trade something. That's your job, all right? And if you miss one of them that we're in, don't worry about it. Trade something else. But keep going out there and keep looking and try to get yourself into something because when the market moves, you'll want to sit there and see everybody else making money. You're not, all right, guys? So try to be aggressive when it comes to that. Good luck, everybody. Happy trading. If I don't see you um, for this afternoon meeting, enjoy your weekend, which is, what, which is always great to hear, you know, that you make your money and go. And then I'll see you back on Monday. Good luck, everyone. Happy trading.